Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ba babe. 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 Thank you, Geralt. Well, this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was Sick. staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out. But I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? Mm. I guess. I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Oh, it's so tempting to say this. But, alas... I have an erection. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive. Hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. In my pants. But see if the best bed in Caramoran can hold us. The only bed in Caramoran. <laughs> I want to pet that cat really badly. It looks so soft and furry. Ah, <sighs> Geralt. A pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Um... The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. Well, she was a pretty good lay. Uh, we might have to do this again sometime. He was a damn crappy swordsman, but we loved him just the same. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal climate. Then I'll head east to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt.
I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. All right. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. Babe. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. You're right about that. Go do your hopscotch somewhere else. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. Babe. 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 Uh, at least she didn't do that. See you, Tris. Walking against the wind, shit. I hate that shit. The bandits succeeded in stealing secrets which the witchers had been guarding for centuries. Their leader, a Zeracanian mage, proved too powerful even for Triss Marigold. The witchers set out in search of the stolen secrets, classically to the four corners of the world. On horses that they didn't really have, Geralt of Rivia went south to Vizima. Man, let me let me ride that horse. For real. Drinking bush in a can, by the way. And we're going to the outskirts of Vizima. Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. What is this, Very the Old much. Testament? Thank you, Caroline. Man, she is fine. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Ooh, Caroline, you so fine. You so fine. You blow my mind. Ooh, Caroline. Alvin, do exactly as I'll say. This is important. Oh, damn. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? They're evil dogs. Run! Evil dogs. Oh, damn. Those are evil dogs. Ro Robert be coming over here more than Alvin, dude. What the hell? Shut the gate, quickly! Wait for Caroline, she's hot. The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! Save the titties. Save the titties, no! Don't close the door on the titties. Oh, the titties. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't, don't save the titties. My bad. Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her. Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I save her myself! She has Stop. nice breasts. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Save the breast. Oh, damn. It's too late for that. Lay their asses. Oh, damn. What was that? Magic, surely. They killed beast. a lot of women with breasts. Oh, damn. Oh damn. The time of the sword and axe approaches. <laughs> the time of the white frost and white light. The time of madness and disdain. To do it, the final age. The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun. Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted hard. seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. Shut up with that Old Testament bullshit. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. You did I ran right, into we wild will. dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. 
The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the Beast. Someone might pay to have the Beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the Salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the Beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Yeah, um... It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious. Muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? I can't say. I see. Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? What's up, I heard Sean? you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine is a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. The North. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. I thought you were in the South. Maybe it's like the North of the South. Like North Carolina. Hmm. What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Lebiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. All right. Um, a, pair, a pair of breasts in the grass. Um, we'll take some uh, barkest skull. Some remains that I can't seem to get to. Ectoplasm. Beast fangs. Alright. Whoops. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. But we will eat a ham sandwich. And we will eat a fish. And we also will eat a chicken leg. Okay, you can only have two effects like that at, at a time. So, we're regenerating a Be alert. tiny bit of health. Yeah, yeah. Meditation mode. Hmm. Some barrels. Travelers. Army life tough. The Zeman herbalist. Greetings. Greetings. What's up, man? What a despicable place. I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? Geralt looks scary, man. If he approached me in the dark like that, I'd freak out. But, uh, let's get some information. What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic. To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. 
My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? I'm immune to STDs and I'm sterile. Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast, and other ghosts serve it, apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. I'll ask him. Yes? You can get away with anything in this town if you just call yourself Reverend. As the late, great Christopher Hitchens once said. Let's see what you got, man. Subterranean plants for 300. I'll take field plants for 200, please. Um, bottled water. Yeah, I got some food. Worthless crap. Yeah. Mm, I can get a get five dollars for this chicken. Four for the chicken sandwich. And four for the gutted fish. Three for the mutton leg. I'll keep, well, I'll sell the goat's milk and keep the bread. And, uh, that leaves us with $37. So, we can't really buy these books yet. Ooh, give me some stuff, because we're poor. You're poor as hell. Hmm, a notice board. Hmm. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. Yeah, that'd be nice. Why, hello. Currently unemployed, and uh, it's hard to get laid when you're unemployed. Or at least it's hard to get laid by something different when you're unemployed. Got some contracts here. That was for those dogs. Or some dogs like those dogs. We got some drowner contract. A ghoul contract. And an arrest warrant for the professor. That went to my quest items. It is hereby declared that the man known as the Professor is guilty of numerous crimes against the Crown, including but not limited to murder, assault, defying city guards and officials, and other wrongs against the Kingdom's subjects. Whosoever provides him shelter will be deemed guilty of aiding and abetting him in his crimes. It is thus the duty of each subject of the Crown to assist the effort and to, or to seize this man. A reward of 1,000 orins is hereby offered to anyone who assists in bringing this man to justice, dead or alive. On behalf of His Majesty King Foltest, Vincent Mize, Captain of the City Guard. Okay. Let's see what's going on in the end. Inns and taverns. There's Shawnee and Alvin. Some peasants and drunks and gamblers. The hell was that? Did he heal me against my will? She's kind of hot. What's up, man? Greetings, Ansem. You look tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By Damn chance. right I do. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Um... Well... I actually... 
Show me your wares, if you know what I'm saying. Got some strong alcohol. That's good. Good to know. I don't think I want anything. Um, I already have beer. And as a matter of fact, you can have my uh, chicken leg. And uh, wait, wait. What can I get you? Um, nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Nothing now, but care to sit down with me for a moment? Not likely. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. Hmm. You mean to say you stop being decent after work? <laughs> I gotta get in this girl's skirt. Um, don't be angry. Don't be angry. Only a blind man could ignore you. You sure know how to compliment a woman, sir. What can I get you? Uh, nothing now. I'll see you later. Let's see. Cockstar. Hmm. Three ounces of Optimum Martyr, a drop of Mercury Solution. Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city which uh, a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. Damn right. I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me, they must. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it, if the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Huh. Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. Sick. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. 
One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun! Farewell. Alright, Kalkstad. Let's see. I'm gonna take some stuff. Yep, give me the beers. Give me the flints. And, um, we're actually gonna look at some journal entries. Oops. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Journal entries. Alright, there's quite a few, but I'll try to hurry up. Alvin. A boy named Alvin managed to escape the Barkest attack, which cost his foster mother her life. And she was hot, too. As a result of the shock, he started to divine the future and uttered the prophecy of Ithleen. I suppose Alvin is a source. He has magical powers he cannot control. Eskel. The calm and reasonable witcher from Kaer Morhen is my peer. Wonder how he got that disfiguring scar. Kalkstein. This absent-minded alchemist seems nice, but it is obvious that scientific theories are of greater concern to him than more prosaic aspects of life. Lambert. The young witcher I met at Kaer Morhen sure has a biting tongue. He's rude, especially to Triss Marigold who he addresses by her last name. Leo. Leo is the youngest of Kara Morhen's residents. He's not a full witcher. Although he has completed his training, he was not subjected to mutation. Leo comes across as a hot-headed whelp, but is also kind-hearted and good. It appears that Leo is somewhat fascinated with me. He has heard the ballads about the white wolf and now holds me in high regard. Leo was killed by the Professor, one of the leaders of the assault on Kaer Morin. The boy was too hasty and inexperienced. I wasn't able to help him, even though I was right beside him. Mysterious Mage The mage attacked Kaer Morin in order to steal the witch's secrets, hidden in the fortress. One of the leaders of the forces that attacked Kaer Morin was a mage so powerful that even Triss Marigold could not oppose him. The organization that he leads uses the symbol of the Salamander. The Professor. <laughs> One of the leaders of the Salamander attacked attack on Kaer Morin was a man called the Professor, who seemed to be a cunning assassin. The other leader was a mage. It turned out that the assault on Kaer Morin was not the professor's first foul deed. The arrest warrant shows clearly that my opponent is a wanted man. Shawnee Soon after I arrived in the outskirts, I met Shawnee, an acquaintance from a long time ago, in quite dramatic circumstances. Shawnee is completely devoted to medicine. Her passion and she had plenty to do with the outskirt, in the outskirts, so there was no time for small talk. I got the impression that this sensible, intelligent girl likes me a lot. Hell yeah. 
Along with me and the other witchers, Triss fought in the defense of Kaer Morin. The sorceress stood against the mysterious mage, one of the leaders of the assault. She was injured and lost consciousness. Ironically, Triss is allergic to magic and she can only be administered natural healing potions. Triss Marigold is my friend. She saw me die and my return to the world of the living surprised her. Triss is a sorceress, one of the most influential and talented of her kind. She has numerous powerful friends and she knows that Kaer Morin witchers. She is one of the few people who know the way to the fortress. I have a feeling Triss likes me a lot. After Leo's funeral, the sorceress teleported to Vizima. She decided to use her extensive contacts to search and search for information on Salamandra. Triss promised to find me as soon as I arrive in Vizima. Vesemir is the oldest and most experienced witcher, possibly older than Kaer Morin himself. He spends each winter in the fortress and sets off on the road when spring comes, just like all the others. Despite his age, Vesemir is robust and lively. Many youngsters could envy him his health. An excellent fencer, he was, one who, he was the one who taught me swordsmanship. He has raised many witchers, including me. His disciples treat him like a father. Leo was probably the old witcher's last protege. The boy's death shocked him. Vesna, a bar made from the tavern in the outskirts, Vesna is quite a determined girl. She sells food and alcohol. Alright. Now. Alright ladies and gentlemen, when we get back we will look over our quests and get this show on the road so to speak. Thanks for watching.